Hello everyone, CapM here, and today I want to discuss why I'm bullish on Apple as a long-term investment and key areas of uh, value that I'm looking based on the technical analysis of Apple's chart. Also, if you would like three free stocks when you sign up for Weeble and Robinhood, check the links in the description below. And remember, I'm not a financial advisor. These are only my own ideas and opinions on the market. So I like Apple as a long-term investment, and there are a few reasons. The main reason is Apple has been able to start diversifying its revenue streams looking into new businesses other than just electronics, which makes up uh, the majority of its revenue. Now, Apple last year has started to venture uh, into new uh, areas, such as the finance and further into the uh, entertainment industries, with two new products that they launched last year, the Apple Card and further pushing towards streaming with Apple Music and Apple TV shows. Here are some Apple TV shows that they launched and, in general, the uh, Apple Card. So, um, in general, uh, these are a few things Apple's ha Apple has done to try to change itself and move into different markets um, and more uh, emerging markets to try and obtain market share from other companies when it comes to streaming, such as music and movies. Um, we, we have uh, Apple Music that has been successful and they're still trying to push further into the movie and show streaming market. Because we're seeing societies moving towards a subscription-based model for many platforms, we're seeing Apple try to do the same uh, same thing, which makes me confident that they'll be able to grab some of the market uh, from its other competitors like Netflix and Amazon. Also, the credit card was a big deal as well because now Apple is moving into the finance industry and can possibly gain a lot from this because in the future, they may be able to open up a bank to secure deposits and give out loans. This would be a great push because if Apple could successfully do this, we would see a huge reserve of cash uh, deposits that Apple would have at hand to reinvest or give out and collect interest on loans. So I think Apple Card is trying to establish Apple's role in the finance industry in a few years so they can eventually open up as a bank. Another reason I like Apple is because of their huge cash reserve. Uh, that they have to potentially weather any storm they'd be facing, such as the current uh, pandemic. They have an estimated $245 million in cash to play with. This gives me uh, great confidence as a potential long-term investor because I know Apple wouldn't have any financial issues moving into the long term. They can launch new products in different fields that we're seeing, as we're seeing now, which really help them in a field such as technology, where the field is always changing. They can also invest in a lot of uh, research and development, which is definitely needed in the field of tech, whether it's different software, hardware, just different technological products in general. So those are the main reasons why I like Apple fundamentally as a company. Uh, now moving into the technical analysis. So we see over here, my, my favorite chart for Apple in general is the uh, weekly chart. If we move into the weekly chart over here, the way we could kind of have called Apple's top over here, we see that Apple made new highs on this candle over here. We fell down. Then we kind of rose again the next two weeks. But you see, we didn't have any more strength to push through this new high. And we kind of like closed over here on Friday. So this was an indicator for me in general to kind of get out of any Apple trade that I would potentially have. And um, it's kind of uh, uh, just crazy level to look at because if we see back in 2018 apple kind of did a um a similar thing over here where we kind of went up we created a new high but again you didn't you see that we didn't have enough strength to kind of push through and we kind of closed lower so this again kind of uh symbolizes that apple has topped out that's a great like just topping pattern in general that we kind of see this close here go up no strength and we see again Right, this had a huge volume spike, but over here there was much less volume, and we didn't have any strength to move forward. So this kind of indicated that there weren't many buyers in the market at that moment. So that's why Apple the next week kind of went down based off the of technical analysis, and we shut lower than this uh, 20 exponential moving average. Now, currently, we're sitting at the 20 exponential moving average, and we're getting rejected by it. Today's candle opened up really bullish, but we've ultimately dropped and lost all the gains from the morning so far. So that's kind of a, a red flag over there. And we're seeing that we're currently getting rejected, which is kind of like today's move that we got rejected, the open up, the gap open up, and we're closing down. Now, 
Over here is where I identified some areas of uh, potential value for Apple. Um, I kind of drew these lines even before we saw this dip over here um, because it was based off of previous highs and reversal points. So over here, we see that Apple kind of had a reversal point trend downwards. We bounced up here, reversal point trend downwards, and again, we broke this. So over here is a very strong area of uh, support right now. This is why we kind of bounced off of this. Um, this would be a good area, again, to start laddering in buys, in my opinion, like based off of what I'm looking at. Um, I think the most important area, though, is over here from anywhere from the uh, kind of 183 mark to the 172 mark in this area um, to start laddering in buys long term. Because if we're looking at kind of this trend line that we formed from 2016, we've been following this kind of trajectory over here. So based off of the 200 uh, weekly simple moving average, we see that we're meeting up with this previous support area and this uh, previous 200 simple moving average. And this trend line is pretty close. So, you know, maybe uh, going into the summer over here, you see kind of July, August over here, maybe we'll see a, a uh, pa uh, Apple fall into this area of value. And we've kind of have three areas of support which is what I kind of want to look at when I'm uh, technically analyzing a chart. I want to look at some areas of confluence because we have a Fibonacci line over here, the 786 level. We have the 200 simple moving average over here moving slowly. And we also have kind of this area of previous uh, long-term trend line support. So I think if Apple were to bounce from an area longer term, it would be kind of from this area over here of value, which would be a decent area for, in my opinion, to start laddering in some buys. Now, again, you always want a dollar cost average into these because if you're going to buy over here, right, if you're going to buy, let's say, half of your position here and it were to fall over here, that's another 18% drop. So you don't kind of want to do that. You kind of want to ladder in some buys if you were to do this. Um, dollar cost averaging into your position if you're a long-term investor is is a very good play just in general, just to kind of hedge against this risk. Now, long, long term, which I really don't think it would possibly hit this level over here, um, but this would be kind of the last area of uh, support before we were to fall even further. So I think this key area here um, in general, hold on one second. This area over here is kind of a, a good area that I'm looking at, in my opinion. So I kind of like this because we're kind of lining, the technicals are kind of lining up all together. So based off of all the pandemic and recession, you know, worries, I think this would be a decent area of value uh, to start looking in for buys in general. So just uh, make uh, of that what you want. If you guys really like the analysis, please like and subscribe, share the video, comment down below. And let me know what other companies you would like me to review. Thank you very much and have a great one.